Pedras Negras, Coahuila, Mexico, 1943. Just over the border from Eagle Pass, Texas. A group of American Army wives doing some shopping in Mexico walk into the Victory Club restaurant after the kitchen has already closed. I don't have time for this. Rather than kicking the customers out, Maitre D. Ignacio Nacho Anaya decides to improvise. Oh, you know who I am? He cut some corn tortillas into triangles, fried them until crisp, then threw them under a broiler with a layer of shredded longhorn cheddar and sliced jalapenos. He named the popular dish Nachos Especiales, and within a decade his creation became popular all over Texas, known simply as Nachos. At Arlington Stadium, home of the Texas Rangers, Dallas entrepreneur Frank Liberto begins selling a modified version of the dish with permanently soft processed cheese and pre-made tortilla chips known as Ballpark Nachos. What really made the concept take off was a visit by Monday Night Football to Dallas later that year. Before the game started, they were offering the product in the reception area where Howard Cosell took a liking to the name. That night and for weeks after, Cosell and the rest of the Monday Night Football team worked the word nacho and the product itself in wherever they could. This is Howard Cosell, here to tell you, the viewing audience, that nachos rule. It wasn't long before nachos became a national phenomenon. From the classic and correct Texan nacho of cheese melted on individual chips to the super loaded 15 topping monstrosities available in mall restaurants across the country. Hey, look who's back! The nacho is every bit as American as apple pie. <laughs>